everybody it's tina again back from hummingbird tales so what i've been making when i've been going up and seeing andrea and janet is some ledger books um now andrea knows how to do the um binding there's plenty of tutorials on youtube um zoe toffield has one that i followed um and there's a couple of others out there um but she also has a tutorial where she shows you how to make the hard covers that she uses to make her journals. So the first type, uh, no, this was this was last week's and this was um, last month's that I've made. So this is actually a personal one for me. If I show you like this, I don't know why my video, my camera seems to be so low down today um, so I've made a boho bead which is actually I'm trying to decide whether to keep it on the bind uh, the closure or to stick it on the back but the back is like been um, distressed and this paper here is by Stamperia and it's called I think it's called Land of the Blue and it's a new one out and it's absolutely beautiful so I've used that on here and at the moment this is completely blank apart from the all the little gems and danglies and things that Andrea made for me as a gift so I've put them in here and then inside I've got some more of that Stamperia paper and this tag is actually one of Andrea's tags that she made on um, I think it was one of her tutorials last week so I've got some of these as well. I'm, I'm so blessed. But what I did was I just put made some more blue paper and I've just literally filled it with blank pages. This one was from, sorry guys, I hit the camera. This one was from Janet Hicks, a present from Janet. Thank you, Janet. I love it. And I've got ledger paper. So all kinds of paper because I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. This was actually an image that I printed out from one of Andrea's kits that didn't come out right. I think the ink was running out or something. So I put a blue wash over it and put it back in the oven. And I, I love this ghost type image. So I've kept that. Here's another tag from Andrea. And there's, there's flips and all here. And I've got um, one of these fresh linen things in because it just makes the book smell so lovely. But this is the only journal that I've made, tag from Andrea, that I've kept. The only one I've got of my own. That happened because of the linen um, air freshener I just showed you. But I actually think that's really nice. <laughs> so I'm not bothered. You know, so that's all it is. I've put these tags in. Again, I said that Andrea's given me. And I've just put different blues and greens and teals paper and then that's the back cover and that is for me and then I went again up to see them last week and I made this one for my daughter now I am going to see if I can bring this up a bit there we go so my daughter's only 13 so I wanted to make something for her that you know didn't have um such a girly closure so Janet suggested a hairband and I know that some people put two holes in the back here. They put eyelets in and then that gets tied to the back. Comes through there and then goes around like that. I think that's what, what I was told. Yeah, go like that. So I've just left it for a minute anyway. And this is another Stamperia paper. And I think this one is just called Blues. I will find out again what they are and I'll stick them in below. Um, so I've done a blue sort of um, um, distressed spine on this. In fact, Andrea did that for me while I was fussing and farting around. And that's the back. And then um, while I was sewing all the signatures in, all Janet stained this beautiful piece of trim, which has gone down there. All I want to do, because I only had some white cloth, is I've got some lovely blue trim that I'm going to glue down here because lace isn't really my daughter. And again, this one has just got plain coffee dyed paper and a few bags 
maybe a bit of lined paper and I've put that trim down in between the signatures. This one's got three. And again, I'm going to put something down there and then that's the inside of the back cover. But such a lovely book and I really enjoyed making it. And I've made it quite thin so that as Annabelle fills this, you know, it won't go too um, thick and like um, what they call it, crocodile mouth. So there we go, folks. So that's what I've been up to recently. So now I'm getting back to Janet's journal and I will be, I've got another, I got the autumn journal to show you, which should be finished by the weekend. I've got a vintage journal to show you and then I'm going to be making stuff for Christmas, including my little totes with the little notes, notebooks in. All right. So lovely to speak to you guys. Um, take care. And uh, if you like my videos, please put a thumbs up and, uh, you know, say hello, hello, drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for looking and uh, see you again. Bye for now.